Welcome back in guys, Trey Lowell here with Lowell Productions. The two boxes that I have here have raised almost $6 million on Kickstarter. Now if that's something you're interested in or you just wanna find out what in the heck is going on within these two boxes, I'm gonna give you guys a behind the scenes look at a product video that I just recently made coming up next. So now that you guys have gotten to see the actual final product that we produced, let's go ahead and start from the beginning and give you guys a little bit of back history in regards to this particular video, and this particular project. So my good friend Jesse Anderson, aka Quackalope, who runs a successful board gaming YouTube channel over the past two years, recently hit me up and said, hey man, we've got this product that we just reviewed. It's doing really well on Kickstarter. <laughs> I didn't even realize this, almost $6 million. And he said, look, man, uh, I think that this would be a great opportunity for the Quackalope team to take a swipe at creating something that maybe the board gaming industry hasn't really seen. While doing my research, watching videos, going on the Kickstarter, going on uh, Darkest Dungeons, social media platforms, uh, the one thing that I did kind of find is that the red and black was an overarching kind of color scheme that I kept seeing. Uh, it created a mood that I think they're going for. Um, so that was kind of going to be my starting point. Now I say this because when I needed to approach the video, I needed to build some kind of set or something that would really kind of make the board game kind of pop. So right behind me, I have this black matte backdrop and I just felt like we could basically take what I currently use for my product review videos and we could maybe kind of cater it towards this particular board game. So pulled that bad boy down, went ahead and switched out the blue gel with a red gel and then also brought in some red LED lights. You guys can obviously see we brought in the big bulb lighting, um, brought in the slider, brought in the camera, all the goodies and even brought in that fog machine. Once we had established the kind of at least backdrop and the colors, this was when I needed to then assemble the actual board game itself. Now my strategy here was to take what I had seen on Quackalope's channel, he had this overhead shot, and I was just going to build and replicate that. I found that in the beginning I just did a complete flat lay, which was fine because I had my music so I was able to shoot some footage, some tights, start to get the visual understanding of how this was going to look on camera, and then also seeing and figuring out the cuts and the feel for the music and the visuals. One thing that I found is once that music was discovered, the music was going to kind of be the driver or tell me what the shots should be. And that seems kind of silly, but when you kind of go back and watch it and the camera's moving and it's going in and it's going out and it's even cutting really quick or even doing some spinning, a lot of that is all driven by the music and kind of how it's sounding and what I visually thought should go with that particular like audio sound or what was going on in that audio track at that particular moment. We have now kind of jumped up in the final cut and I've kind of got my first little like scene cut together which is making me feel super confident about how all this is looking, the vibe that's going on. So I guess I just wanted to because I felt like I was a little excited right now because it's starting to come together. Whereas like earlier in the process, while I know it looked cool and everything like that, I just didn't know if it was gonna fit with the music and things of that nature. So I guess just a little bit kind of like report to future me of like, I'm pretty excited what I've got going on here. Music sounding good, background and everything's looking good. I've got roughly 24 hours to finish this have it done and then put in the mail. So we'll see how this goes. And I'm interested to see what the final kind of version looks like. Cause at this point I literally have uh, two seconds worth of footage that's cut to music. 
but it's it's starting strong. So moving further into the actual shooting and editing, as I was kind of making my way and got my opener and then the following shot, uh, the one thing that I was looking for was to also tell a little bit of a driving story in regards to kind of showing a big wide, showing you everything, and then kind of making my way into the game or throughout the game. Now, I did this visually through getting like tighter shots, uh, through showing the board pieces, through showing some of these guys, even some of our little cards here, and then also showing some of the miniatures. One thing that I find with these particular games is that these miniatures or these pieces are so unique in regards to every individual piece that I wanted to make sure that I had several tight shots that kind of highlighted not only the pieces, but all the characters uh, and the cards that went along with it. And so I think as the manufacturers would probably want or the creators of this game, they want to highlight to their audience kind of what you're getting and why you would be spending this money on this particular product. Because they, they invest the time, the labor, the effort into creating all this stuff. And it is then in my turn, or in return, my job to give you a really good understanding of what's coming in this package. And overall, I think we did that. When I sent the video to Jesse, at this point I had probably watched it, oh gosh, maybe 50 times. I had watched it on my computer, uh, I had watched it on my iPhone, and I had even showed my wife. And I was freaking thrilled because uh, the music just, I, I knew it. I just knew it when I saw it and I heard it. Uh, it just seemed to work. I knew it was something different. I knew it was going to be high paced enough that it would at least uh, draw people in. And once I had gotten that first shot, the swoosh in and the swoosh out, oh man, it was game on. Taking what I had learned from my particular professional side of things and also doing product reviews and things like that and taking the way that I shoot and then incorporating it into the board gaming space, this is going to be something that is going to be awesome and a journey that myself and the Quackalope team, I think you're going to be thrilled to have you guys uh, along for the ride. Um, and what I kind of mean is just, I have a, a video that I'm going to be doing uh, this next week on ISS Vanguard, uh, same guidelines. Be creative as you possibly can. Let's do something different. Let's uh, let's have a wow factor, um, but let's, let's churn and burn too. And um, I really just wanted to do this video to give you guys, one, a little bit of an introduction to myself, Trey Lowell with Lowell Productions. Uh, some of you might be coming from the Quackalope audience and I just wanna thank you and welcome you here. Um, also, just for people that are already familiar with Lowell Productions, uh, thank you for being here as always, but this is something you will probably see in the near future. Uh, I will be experimenting more and more in the board gaming industry. Um, so yeah, you guys drop a comment in the comment section below of kind of what you think. Uh, on this channel, I normally do stuff that's so tech driven. How did, how did it turn out seeing something that wasn't a camera being filmed or a camera lens? How, how did I do, how did Team Quacklope do in regards to this particular production? And uh, for all those gamers out there, what do you think? Was it cheesy? Was it different? If you're even around at this point, I want to say thank you so much. Uh, if you made it this far, maybe even do me the huge favor of liking and subscribing. Um, but this is going to be a new adventure that I'm excited for. And I hope you guys enjoyed the behind the scenes look. And as always, it's Trey Lowell with Lowell Productions. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like the content I keep creating on this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video.